Hello, YouTubers. Um, so today, I wanted to talk to you about um, any any of you that are um, fellow that are also fellow wrestling fans, uh, such as am I, um, and and in particular, any of you that play the wrestling the WWE video games um, will have heard of this. Um, the uh, recently, after many many years of having the wrestling games, um, WWE actually. Uh, got a, a different uh, company now will we'll be taking over the WWE video games. Um, so that's kind of exciting, but also I have to admit I, I, um, I personally have uh, my own concerns about the big change. Um, now, you know, one of the big critiques about that a lot of people, one of the things people complained a lot, a lot about um, the WWE video games, uh, the late, you know, the, the late group, like, you know, from um, for a while now, I believe it's uh, THQ that's been doing them. Uh, is that they've been very much the same without very many changes. Uh, and I will agree with that to, to some degree. Um, and that's, I think, a big part of why people were kind of getting tired of it and they wanted to see it, it change to a new company. Uh, but I have to be honest, I, I like a lot of what they did with the game, so I have a lot of concerns about it changing to a new company. I'm, I'm hoping that um, it'll turn out to be for the best, it'll turn out to be good. Um, you know, just a lot of little things like, I mean, for example, you know, just the whole... Um, control set, the, the way that, you know, you do all the moves and stuff. I'm very fond of the way they've kind of come along with that in the, in the game. Um, there's also a lot of, you know, a lot of little things that I do like about the game. So, uh, you know, for example, um, in the past few games, they've had what's called a WWE Universe Mode. And it's funny, it's such a random, like, little thing, but, it, you know, it actually makes such a big difference. Like, you wouldn't think it's that big, a, big of a deal, because, I mean, all of the games had a, an exhibition mode type of thing, where you could just do random matches, and, and um, a great deal of them even had where um, you had all the various titles. So you could really put on your shows, but it's funny, there's just something you can't quite explain about the fact that um, this universe mode, it actually brings you through, you know, each Raw and SmackDown, uh, and even Superstars, and then each of the pay-per-views, you know, and there's actually, like, a built-in ranking, and, you know, when you, you can actually build up a guy, um, there's something that's so much cooler about actually doing it that way, even though essentially you're doing the same thing, than to just have a bunch of random matches and pick the guys that you like, um, the WWE Universe mode, it's just, there's something, uh, in, un, something about it that just makes it really cool. Um, you know, and, and I like where they've gotten it to a nice, to, to a point where you can literally do, like, pretty much anything that you want within it, or you can also let the computer do some stuff, like, decide, you know, who's going to be, um, who's going to win matches if you don't feel like doing them, um, decide who's going to be ranked where, um, you know, decide who's going to be your number one contenders for your various titles. You can do that, or you can let the computer do that, and I, I think that's really cool. Um, you know... Another thing um, is the improved graphics over time. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping, you know, with the change that they, they with the change to a new company, that they stay good because um, I don't want to see them become like cartoony again or something like that. And, I mean, the graphics, you know, really improved over time with the WWE games to the point where, I mean, even to the craziest things, like, I mean, you know, the characters have fingernails now, and you can actually like, you know, paint their fingernails. Um, you know, if you so desire for whatever reason. I mean, to that kind of detail, they literally, I mean, hands look like hands, you know, uh, to the to the amazing detail that they went. Now, I'd hate to see that turn around and, and just, you know, with a new game, with a new company, just end up looking worse. So hopefully that's not the case. Now, another thing that I, I liked about these games that they kind of developed along the way, and this is going to sound pretty funny because you'd think, you know, this isn't that big a deal or isn't that, you know... Uh, I don't know, but, and you wouldn't think it's like that big of a thing, like why wouldn't that happen anyway, but you'd be surprised in, in wrestling games how often um, you don't actually have to, at least early on in the match, you don't actually have to physic you don't actually have to fight out of submission holds and fight to kick out of a pin. 
Um, and to me, that kind of just takes away a little bit of the realism. Now, granted, you know, very early on in the match, if, you know, the computer or, you know, an opponent, or if you're fa facing off against a friend, you know, if they if they put you in a submission or a pinhole, you should be able to easily get out. But I always hated when, um, you know, whether it's a submission hold or a pinfall um, in the games where you literally don't even have to touch the thing and it's too early in the match, you'll, uh, you'll kick out of the pinfall, you'll get out of the submission. Uh, they've kind of developed a thing where, you know, if you don't fight out of the pinfall, of the submission, then you're not getting out. You're going to lose. You actually have to physically try. And of course, as I said, you know, early on in the match, it's going to be a lot easier because your wrestler, your, your, you know, your character is not beat up that much yet. But you still actually have to try to get out of it. And to me, that, you know, that helps the realism a little. You actually have to get out of those moves. Um, and that's, you know, you'd be surprised how many, how many wrestling games along the lines... Um, that wasn't the case, you know. And to me, that's just such a simple thing that helps the realism of a video game. Um, then there's, of course, you know, they've come a long way with the create a wrestler or create a superstar, as they call it now. Um, and that's another thing, you know. I, 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 there's a lot of characters that uh, that I've created, um, Cadaver in particular. I mean, he's absolutely perfect. They've, they've got the perfect skull mask that I like to use and, uh, you know, all the details that I've... I've uh, imagined for him have just become perfect in that game. There's a few other characters like, you know, some some um, some of my own like uh, superstars or divas that I create that um, that are just you know I found the perfect way to where they look like the actual person or the actual comic book character or whatever it is that I'm creating. Not to mention there's some creative people um, that that create characters that look like exactly like the video game character or celebrity or, or whatever that you're trying to that you're you know, trying to download from them. Um, and that's another thing I'm hoping will be a part of the next game, is that uh, the ability to, to actually um, create and, and upload uh, rest, uh, your own created wrestlers, and then other people are able to download them, and preferably even to make their own edits to them, because sometimes I'll get one where maybe somebody made some somebody that's like, uh, you know, a character I'm looking for, and it's absolutely perfect, but I want to kind of try my hand at also making some of their other costumes or something like that. Um, so to me, that's another thing that wasn't always avail an availability um, that I think, you know, I, I would, I'm hoping doesn't get lost in with the new company. Um, and, you know, um, I actually have a cheat sheet for once of little things I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, and another thing, too, is, and, and this, um, this is actually one that hasn't been available in the WWE Games for All. This is one thing I'm hoping maybe that the new company will do. Uh, that I'd like to see is the ability to edit the uh, existing superstars costumes. Now, mind you, I don't want the ability to overwrite their actual costumes, like whichever ones come with the game or, or that you can unlock. Um, I don't want those to be able to be overwritten. I would want those to be to be saved, but I want the ability to create other costumes. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, the last couple of WWE games had that. No, they didn't. They had basically where you could take the same costume and change the colors. That's stupid, and what is even the point of that? To me, you know, it harkens back to, like, the old Nintendo 64 games, where, you know, if you so desired, you could create the wrestlers' costumes of the past. You could um, to update the game and, and create, you know, the costumes that they wear now. Um, and for that matter, you know, what if I what if I just wanted to randomly, f for whatever goofy reason, maybe I wanted to put Triple H in a pink tutu and tan work boots and give him a purple mohawk and a nose ring? I should be able to do that. What if I want to maybe put a couple of the divas into costumes that make them, you know, look like girl versions of the superstars or something? I don't know. I'm just kind of off the top of my head. Uh, you should be able to do that, to take off, put on whatever, like, uh, parts that you want to, to create, you know create various other costumes for the characters. And that's something that the old games ha used to have that, you know, the games haven't had for a long time. Uh, so, you know, I have my concerns about the big switch over. I'm, I'm hoping it ends up being good. Um, and, you know, and I'm still hoping that maybe we get a few things that we've been missing for a while, a few things that, you know, um, could make it great. So... Uh, what do you think, YouTube, YouTubers, if, if you're a wrestling fan, I'm a fan of the games, um, what are some things you're hoping get carried over from the old games that they, that they don't lose, and what are some new things you're hoping get integrated? Thank you, YouTubers. Have a nice day.